Hi everyone, it's Steph, and today I'm here with a video on sewing machine upkeep. What I mean when I talk about sewing machine upkeep are practices on how to keep your sewing machine running optimally. I am by no means a sewing machine expert, but I'm going to share with all of you three tips that I have for general maintenance on your sewing machine to ensure that it runs smoothly. The first tip is sort of obvious, but you want to make sure that you keep your sewing machine clean. So what that means is that you're making sure to dust it off so that no dust collects on it, and I highly recommend getting a lint brush and sweeping any lint on the machine that you might see, especially in the bobbin area or around the thread. This one's really important to do because you don't want any dust or lint to build up in any of the cracks or crevices of your machine. This sort of thing is unavoidable and it does happen from time to time, which is why it's also important to disassemble your machine using some sort of reference, of course, to more thoroughly clean your machine to avoid any funky buildups that would prevent your machine from running optimally. Relatedly, my second tip is to make sure that that you oil your sewing machine. Like the name implies, it is a machine. So that means that there are a lot of mechanical moving parts inside of the machine that need to be oiled in order for the parts to be moving smoothly. The benefit of oiling your machine, especially if you have never done it, is that there's a fairly noticeable difference in your machine after you've oiled it. The machine should run much smoother after you oil it, which should make a lot of projects easier downstream. Just remember that this is very machine specific and I'm sure that there are a lot of videos out there on the internet on how to oil your specific machine. This is something that you can definitely do yourself to my knowledge, oiling a machine just requires you to disassemble it and apply oil on the parts that need it. So with the help of a YouTube video, it's fairly simple to do in the comfort of your own home. My third and final tip, which I think is probably one of the most important tips that I'm pretty sure not enough people are doing, is to make sure that you're changing out the needles on your machine regularly. This is something that I myself hadn't begun doing until fairly recently, but something that I feel like a lot of people may not realize is that if you use old, dull needles, needles on your sewing machine, it forces your sewing machine to work much harder to sew something than if you were to use a fresh, sharp needle. Try to swap out my needles after every project. Needles really aren't that expensive. It may seem like a hassle, but if you pick up a pack of a couple of them when the next time you're at the craft store, it's good to have them around. This is also something that causes a couple downstream issues while you're sewing, such as skip stitches. If you have a fresh, brand new needle, not only does your machine run so much smoother and faster, but your stitches will come out much nicer as well. Other than those three tips, I don't really have much else to share in the way of sewing machine upkeep. They aren't too complicated to keep up. You just want to make sure that you keep them clean and you keep the parts running as optimally as possible. I believe that machines also sort of have different grades as well. The cheaper end machines might not necessarily be designated for long-term use, meaning that if you take it to a specialist, there might be only so much that they can do, but definitely more of the medium to higher end machines. You'll want to find some sort of sewing machine specialist in your area that can take a look at your machine every couple of years to make sure that everything is running smoothly. All in all though, those are the three important tips that I would recommend for sewing machine upkeep in your home. Make sure you keep it clean, make sure to oil it regularly, and make sure you're changing your needles. If you have any other tips that you'd like to contribute for other people using a sewing machine, make sure to leave it in the comments down below as well as any other questions, comments, or concerns you may have. If you like this video or found it useful, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.